Hey, welcome to my channel and this is my first video. Hey, my name is Milena and I am IFB Bikini Pro and I will be starting with a Chicago Pro in five weeks. Now today I would like to chat about my week, how my week went and about the changes that my coach has made yesterday as we are so close to the show and it's time to bring in the extra conditioning. Firstly, I had my first posing session with Jasmine. She is going to help me out to put the routine together that I will be able to showcase on stage. Now, I found my routine from last year was a little bit simple and amateurish. Like now I feel to be in line with the pro level girls, I need to step up the game and showcase something extra special, bring a little bit more personality and Jasmine put a fantastic routine for me where I will include maybe more of a head flick, maybe a little bit of a hand movement. Like definitely this is going to be more me, but I know I need to put a lot of work into making this routine like flawless. I am learning step by step. So the way that I've divided my work, every transition I learn each morning. And then once I finish all of the transitions, I can repeat the whole uh, routine and in two weeks time I'll have a meeting with Jasmine so hopefully we can work on the final details and make little tweaks like for now I'm so excited now uh, yesterday I visited the shred center where my coach is um, based when he's training and we had actually a really good team day as there were a lot more athletes from T Pro Coach, and we could all train together. So I started with um, a leg day, and then we had a face to face check in with Cal when I went through my routine. So Cal could see my body, where we are um, leanness wise, physique wise, and make any sort of recommendations and changes. And as of today, my plan has changed a little bit. So what I'm going to do is just talk through the changes that my coach implemented. Now, start maybe with why I decided to make those changes. Um, stay through the condition means um, a lot more lines, a really low body fat, and it's not just abs and like maybe lean shoulders. It's about like getting the condition around the legs and glutes and getting this like lines and really low body fat around the areas less where we as naturally as females hold a little bit more body fat so getting to this condition it's not easy it's going to require a lot more harder work and our bodies do not want to get to this level of neediness therefore there are changes and there are like we call it a push needed for our body to like drop the fat from those areas so means more output more cardio and taking some calories away as well just to create a greater deficit really to get those lines that are needed in the lower body now um for me with regards to the diet i have um included what i'm currently eating as of today on my training day and on my rest day and i purposely will not be including my calories or my portions because this plan is been made for me it won't be suitable for another person so that's why I'm not including portions and calories, but you can see my, my food sources. Um, with regards to my training, I'm training five times per week and that did not change. I've got three lower body sessions and two upper body sessions. Now, my cardio and my output. I'm currently doing 14,000 steps and I have 60 minutes of cardio at um, 130 um, heart rate that is performed on chosen machine, but really i can get my heart rate up and work really to that heart rate on the stairmaster so i choose the stairmaster with extra change that's been made just recently it's a 20 minutes of hit but listen it's not the whole 20 minutes of hit it's 30 seconds of maximum work and then one and a half minute of steady state and that's time then so that's total of 20 minutes Yes, so that is my current uh, plan. That's my current food, my current training, and my current um, cardio. I 
training is still going strong and i'm said to Carla, i'm really surprised like how come i can still uh, have such a good training sessions uh, but then something needs to give because my energy then in the afternoon really really dips so the way that i scheduled my days is i do i get up like a half past four in the morning i go for my fasted cardio then prep my meals start with my work um I coach my girls online, I uh, catch up with them training plans and do all of my work. Then I go for my training sessions and I finish off my steps and then I can chill um, in the evening with a little bit more of a work um, that is not requiring so much of an energy. Now it's totally natural to drop the energy in the evenings, afternoons. At this stage, body is really lean and gets really tired really easily. Plus I get up super early. So planning that and making this work with my day is my top priority so I really look after myself when I need to rest and make sure that I rest and even now I am booked in for a massage and a treatment in 10 minutes so I finished this video here thank you so much for watching thanks for tuning in I would love to chat and answer any questions uh, if you have dropped them in the comments and thank you for following my journey this is very personal experience for me. This year is different. It's not just about getting to stage. And I will talk more about this maybe a little bit later down the line. Um, but it's going to be a very special experience. And thank you for being here with me. Please subscribe if you would like to um, watch more of these videos. I will be dropping them weekly. And hopefully, yes, see you very soon.